What's up everybody? Welcome back to Bayou Bandit Charters. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I put out a video every week fishing along the Alabama and Mississippi Gulf Coast. I had a last minute cancellation tonight. I'm already out here at the launch, so I'm gonna do a flounder gigging video for y'all. I've got my underwater camera set up. Hopefully I can get some cool footage from that gig camera. So before we launch the boat, we're gonna go over my setup in case y'all hadn't seen some of the previous videos and some things have changed a little bit. I'm running 14 of these 50 watt, five star LED lights from Victor McNew. 700 watts of lights. I've got 14 of them. I absolutely love these lights. They are an amber colored light. I've been flounder gigging for over 40 years. I have never seen any lights that penetrate in muddy stained water like these lights do. And they also work perfectly well in clean, clear gulf water. If you're interested in any lights, I'll leave Victor McNew and Five Star LEDs link down in the description below. Awesome lights. I mean, these, these are tough. I've had jig heads come hit these lenses. They don't bust. Excellent, excellent lights. Four on this side, four in the front, four down this side, and I've got one on either side of my tower on the back to illuminate the back. When the water's right, you can see all the way down the side of this boat. And if you notice, no generator on the boat. I've been running over a month now with no generator. Complete quiet, I love it. And that's due to my Ionic lithium batteries. These Ionic lithium batteries have an 11 year warranty. The 100 amp hour batteries that I'm running is equivalent to two 29 series deep cycle marine batteries. They're completely maintenance free. You have an app on your phone, the Bluetooth batteries. You can pull the app up on your phone, look at all your batteries, see if they're charged, see how much amp draw they're pulling, see how long you've got to run off of that charge. It's amazing new technology. It is the way to go. I've been running some of these batteries for over a year now. I absolutely fell in love with them. They only weigh 30 pounds a piece. You can't beat them. And they're a perfect combination to go with the five star lights. If you're interested, in some ionic lithium batteries call danny rogers with performance fishing electronics right there i'll leave his link his website in the description below as well enough talking let's launch this boat and go to the spot i only have about 30 minutes before it gets dark and gig some flounder stay tuned Time to flip the switch. Boom! Those mosquitoes are bad. Before I even get started, I'm gonna put on some of this Marsh Romance from Hawk Soap Company. I have not found anything any better than their products for no seams and mosquitoes. I use the Marsh Romance as well as the Skeeter Hawk. Both products work very, very well. If you hadn't tried any, and those no seams and those mosquitoes are tearing you up. You need to get some. I'm telling you, it works. I don't have any DEET on my boat. I've been using this for about a year now. It works great. I have a discount link in the description below, and you can save 15% on your first order. I've got my underwater camera. I'm going to be using it tonight to hopefully get some good footage for y'all. Uh, we can see way better with our eyes out here on the boat, then you can see on the GoPro footage. A lot of people watch the videos and say, man, I can't hardly see those flounder. So, well, you know, you can see a lot better out here than you can with the cameras. Right there. I mean, I just turned the lights on. I just turned the lights on. I thought that was a flounder. I thought that was a flounder. Didn't have time to turn on the underwater camera. That's a good flounder, y'all. 
that flounder's about 18 inches gigged him further back than i wanted to yes sir 18 inches on the dot we're gonna put that old boy in the box boom tell y'all what <laughs> that was super quick <clears throat> with this high tide those flounder can be way up there with their backs almost out of the water <clears throat> so when we when we're out here gigging we want to scan as deep as we can see and back to the bank keep that head on the swivel keep looking if y'all want to come out on a flounder gigging charter with me alabama or mississippi waters i run trips every thursday friday and saturday night call that number right there my website link will be in the description below it's an awesome time for family and friends give me a call we'll get you set up there's a flounder right there all right we've got a gigging size flounder right over here we're gonna turn on the underwater camera he's about a 16 to 17 inch long flounder Gig him right in the head. There we go. Flounder number two. Nice, nice eating size flounder. over the rail and in the pail they really love getting in these pockets in this grass when that tide's high they will push way up way up in that grass it's surprising how far they'll go up in that grass like i said y'all need to come out on one of these trips the gopro does not do this justice and we've got stain water tonight but it's still going to be a good night but it's not real good for videoing and i don't have a lot of opportunities because i'm running charters all the time to get you get you a good video out with an underwater camera so hopefully this will turn out good for y'all but you can see way better when you're out here on the water than you can through that camera lens little redfish and redfish are legal to gig and shoot in mississippi waters there's another little flounder right there right there not in alabama waters but in mississippi waters you can legally gig and shoot with a bow <laughs> not a gun <laughs> with a bow and arrow <laughs> redfish and in the winter months that's what we do we run bow fishing charters and shoot redfish and sheep's head pretty good start so far we've been maybe 15 minutes or so got that nice 18 inch and then that second flounder a lot of people ask me what type of gig setup i use to me there's only one type that's a Carlson gig uh i've got four prong and five prong gigs these are titanium tipped lifelong gigs with a batwall cane pole he makes all types of bamboo uh fishing poles as well as gig handles that's mr craig batwell in andalusia all his information is also in the description below i really love them uh they've got flex and bend to them uh, a lot of people will use the aluminum handles uh they're cold in the winter time hot in the summertime and once they bent they're bent right these cane poles will do a lot of flexing oh he's too small but i want i want to show him to y'all let me back up 
these poles will flex without breaking very good grip on them trying to get some good underwater footage for y'all it's rare that i get an opportunity to do this right by myself that flounder is about about 12 and a half 13 inches long we'll give him a little bump <laughs> But as I was saying, I really do love these gig handles. I've been using them a long time. They float if a client drops a gig in the water. It floats, right? Because of the sails and the bamboo. Yep, we're gonna gig him. There we go. Flounder number three. Another 15 and a half, 16 inch fish. Over the rail. In the pail. <clears throat> it's amazing how well those flounder can bury up. They're good at two things, right? That's camouflage and eating. If they're on dark shells, they'll be very dark in color. If they're on sand, they'll be very light in color. There's a small one right there. And I get comments all the time. You know, how do, how do you know that the fish is legal to gig or not? I've been doing this for over 40 years and I can usually judge the size of a flounder within a half an inch. And if it's close, if it's iffy, I don't fool with them. We're gonna make sure we gig good legal size fish. We go over a ton of fish and don't mess with them that are legal size fish. Oh, there's a good one right there. Right there. Nice, nice. Another nice fish sitting on about 16 inches. Flounder number four going in the box. I want to show you what a fresh flounder track looks like that's about as fresh of a track as you can get right there you can see the outline of that flounder where he was laying that's his head that's his body that's his tail that is a fresh fresh track if you were to gig that fish you want to get right down over him just like that boom super super fresh track and that can tell you a lot when you're flounder gigging. It can tell you the size of fish that's in the area and what direction they're moving. Now we're at the peak of high tide right now. The tide will start falling in about another hour and flounder will move onto the beach, keep getting shallower and shallower as that tide comes in. That flounder may actually be way up here in this grass. And that's shallow water, y'all. I'm telling you, super, super shallow water. What a beautiful night. We're in, this boat floats that shallow. If I lower that trolling motor down anymore, it will be on the bottom. So that's why you hear it cavitating because I can't lower it down anymore. I plan on getting about two or three more flounder. That'll be all I need. We'll fry fish tomorrow 
and then i'll have a few i can put in the freezer for another fish fry because i don't like i said i don't get to get many flounder i love taking people i'm out here on the water all the time but rarely do i have opportunity to keep some for myself and my family so i'm taking advantage of this little opportunity another track got a ton of bait in the area bull minnows going crazy and that's something else that's real good when you're flounder gigging finding an area that's got a lot of bait It is amazing how well those fish can bury up. I don't know if you can see him right there laying there. We're going to let him go. But I want to show him to y'all with the underwater camera. You see his eyes right there. You see his body. He is buried up. Look at those eyes. We're going to give him a little bump. <laughs> oh, I love this. See that track? Very, very fresh track. Look at that big old stingray. Look at that big old ray. Big old ray. Track, nice little track. Another flounder right there. The redfish. <laughs> That's a good slot red. There's another one. Yes, sir. -ry. Nice slot redfish. Ugh. Look at there. Nice, about 20, 23, 24 inch redfish. Over the rail, in the pail. Stingray. And another stingray. It's laying right in that little hole right there. We're going to let him go. I don't know. Yeah, he's big enough to gig, but we're going to let him go. Boom. <laughs> That was about a 14 inch flounder. Flounder love that spotty grass. Flounder love structure. So they'll nose up in there on that grass. And waiting for a bait fish to come by. Uh, stingray. There's a flounder right there. He's a little short. He's right there. That little guy. Guy is buried up real good. <laughs> Boy, 
Boy, that old fog is setting in. It is thick. Gonna be a fun ride back to the launch. Everybody wants to do captain stuff till it's time to do captain stuff. Ended up with seven flounder and a redfish. Not bad, not bad. I'm gonna show y'all how I use my seven inch flexi knife by sword to clean these flounder. White side up, come in, make your cut, turn your blade, you wanna slide it down right by that backbone. And out the tail flip him over take the tip of that knife jump the backbone jump over to the other side got a few bones right there you need to jump over invert your knife boom doesn't get any cleaner than that y'all flip him over Make your cut, invert your knife, same as before. Just let that blade ride right over those bones. Cut through, out the tail. Work it right over that backbone. Come right on out, just like so. Invert your knife, just let it glide along the bones. Boom. Doesn't get any cleaner than that. Look at that. You can read a newspaper through that fish on both sides. That's what you want. I clean a lot of flounder multiple nights a week, and I love this sword knife. Works great. These sword knives have a protective coating on the blade to keep it from rusting. Very, very good handle design, non-slip, works great. This, this knife never sees fresh water, constantly in the salt, staying on the boat. I've been using this knife for a couple of months now. Really do love it. If you're interested in purchasing one of these knives, check out my affiliate link down in the description below. Comes with a nice scabbard, goes in, locks, doesn't fall out. It's got a nice belt clip with it. Love it, y'all. Check them out. Do yourself a favor. Check out Sword Knives. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'd appreciate it. Really help my channel grow. And if you didn't get to see me in a bayou, you can see me right here on Bayou Bandit Charters every Sunday morning nine o'clock.